Hello friends, welcome back to UiPath Expo Hub. Today we are in the chapter Regular Expression, chapter number 3. We are going to learn a couple of critical aspects of regular expression today. One is digit identification. For example, you are going to capture the phone number, how to do that. We will see capture grouping followed by character, caret symbol which is very critical, beginning of the statement, dollar symbol, end of the statement. So with this we will be done with 90% of different characters that is being used in regular expression. So let's get started with chapter 3. Let me introduce myself, myself Rakesh and we create uh, Expo Hub UiPath videos on a regular basis. Please do subscribe to our channel in case you, you have not. Please do like all our videos and please do comment what you felt. So let's get started. So the very first thing I will do is I will log into Red's XR site. Okay, so this is one of the best site to practice regular expression. And let me remove all of this. And then I was saying, you know, cap, uh, phone number identification. For example, let's say I'm writing a phone number, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So this is a 10 digit phone number. Now uh, there is something called backslash D, okay? Matches any digit character zero to nine. So you can see when I write this, it is matching each of the digit individually so it has highlighted nine nine eight zero one two three four five six so it will identify each of this let's say you have got uh, another number nine nine eight zero but again this is not a phone number okay so slash d is just identifying the all the numbers now let's say i want to identify the phone number and uh, you have a validation right where you can the phone number will have 10 digits right so for that what i will do all you have to do is in the curly braces remember in regular expression anytime you have to write or mention a number right curly braces is something you need to use so let's say i'm saying 10 so what is happening any digit which has a 10 kind of preceding tokens i mean 10 10 different digits so this has got 10 digits so this has been highlighted so that makes it easy to either identify a phone number a pin code right or uh, employee id so you know in a given statement um, you know something has a validation it will be a nine digit or ten digit or whatever right so like that you can let's say nine to ten so nine to ten if i say so if i make it nine see this is getting highlighted right so that way you can make several different conditions okay now the next thing is we have to look at the capture grouping so what is capture grouping so let me tell you, let, let's say I'm writing street, okay? And let me remove this. And if I say E, okay, so two times there are E in this. Now in the curly braces, what I will do, I will say two, right? Two comma three. So what is happening? Wherever there are two or three E's, for example, let me write another so what is happening anywhere there are two times e or three times e that should be highlighted so this is uh, specifically very useful let's say there's a pattern 9980 uh, 5 to 1 1 2 3 let's say okay so this is a number so you know any number starts with 9 9 and followed by 8 so followed by 8 is something you can work on this one so what i will do instead of e let's say i am going to mention it as 9 nine so which is okay nine nine and this should be sorry not nine just simply say nine and then in the curly braces i am saying it should be two times so nine is getting highlighted and followed by so let's say backslash eight okay so that way you can identify any number which is which has a nine nine eight okay so this will be a very very useful candidate of followed by and capture grouping all right the next thing that we are going to learn is the caret symbol so what does this caret symbol do matches the beginning of the string so for example your you have a statement where the payment the payment is mentioned or anything like that okay so you can see it got highlighted let me copy this 
and let me paste it over here and try it here so what is happening um, you know the payment is enabled so you must check this the flag right now have enabled is multi-line if i do not enable multi-line what is happening only the first uh, set of characters or the words has been highlighted the payment so multi-line flag by just writing m or by enabling it here that is going to ensure that the wherever the payment payment word is followed that will be captured okay for the pay the payment for this month the payment for this month so like that we can capture uh, with the caret symbol now the another uh, aspect is um, another character is the uh, dollar symbol okay so the dollar symbol is just opposite of that matches the end of the string okay for example the end of the string let's say i put a dot and uh, all i have to do but the how you write is slightly different okay you put a backslash and put a let's say I'm, i want to identify the dot so you can see the dot has been highlighted so with this uh, we have covered around 90 percent of different characters or special characters that you will be utilizing in regular expression so in case you have not watched the previous chapter chapter one and two and three please do watch it with this three chapters i think you are good with 90 percent of different special characters uh, that uh, is good enough for regular expression now with this uh, you know the next chapter would be on the look ahead okay positive look ahead negative look ahead that is also one of the critical part of regular expression that i'm going to come in the next chapter um, anyone who is watching this in case you have not liked the videos please do like all our videos please do comment what you felt and please do subscribe to our channel thank you very much for watching and you have a wonderful day